and she's this was this was really sad right mm. when she said I'm on my third pacemaker mm. there's 15 settings and I'm on number 9 mm. and once you get up to 15 you're dead I think so yeah sounded like it but it did mean that she lives like what did she say so about the way she lives life like yeah like she's like gonna she's die to tomorrow die. <laughs> probably yeah did you notice her pacemaker you can see it when she's got a bikini on I see you the can, scar. Yeah, it's nice. No, you can see the actual pace. It's like a square under her skin. Really? Yeah, you can see it. Did you see her pointing that out? Or did you just it's like notice? a lump? No, I noticed it on the TV show after while she was talking about that. I think Mark has also got a scar. You know? Oh, has he? What? Lobotomy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's always got his fucking mouth hanging open. I think he used to be fatter than Jillian. He's got. I think a, he used to be really obese, he's, and he's he's had the um, excess skin oh, removed. Really? Yeah. But he's all muscly now. Yeah, I know. He's got a few issues, that guy, but we'll come on to that. Um, yeah, that was, that was a sad sob story, I must admit. Um, <laughs> sob story? That was, that, that was serious <laughs> shit. No, but it's, it's not like sob- on, when you go on no, X, that's like, oh, my nan yeah, this, my, yeah, my granddad that. It's still a sob story. It's a sad sob story. That's Our it. Christmas came back next. Yes. She's got ten broken Jeez. bones. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and so the next sob story of the fucking yeah. day... Yeah. She what said, ailment week, isn't it? She said that I think the doctor said it looked like mm. a bomb went off in my foot. She's got 10 broken bones and she needs a donor bone. Ew. Boner. Boner. He said. <laughs> <laughs> it will take six, six weeks to heal, but she won't get full mobility back. It will take a year to recover. And but then... then arthritis is going to set in within one to five years and she has to have another surgery to fuse everything again now that sounds like a mega ass ache jason can you imagine yeah how, how he must feel, feel? But it was just an accident though wasn't it yeah but an accident that changed somebody's life forever especially someone who's a sports what? i know nutter i bet big brother's happy that it didn't happen during a competition do you oh, know what I mean? Sue their ass. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Because it was just like an accident that there's, happened. You with can't houses. blame anyone. No, no. That's true. Where there's blame, there's a claim. <laughs> Especially in America. That that sounds awful, though, doesn't it? That, that was quite sobering, actually. That, that, was... that, that whole rev- <laughs> 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 that whole revelation. And it was. I know. And the it was others, emotional. The others did look actually quite sorry for her, didn't they? Yeah. Now she's got to go around on that little scooter. Especially because she is. <laughs> that scooter's <laughs> perfect. It's best. Especially because she is quite defined by her athleticism. Yeah, exactly. And it's her bread and butter as well, isn't it? So it's quite yeah. it's quite bad, actually. Um, like, if that happened to me or you, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, me probably more so than you, but still. <laughs> um, yeah. I wouldn't like it if I had to have a boner. She... <laughs> yeah, you would. Um... But in the diary, did she say she will accept the gifts as they come? The gifts. Yes, the gift of ching, 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 being arthritic, I guess. She said the gifts, like the gifts that are going to come out of her going around on her crutches. (laughs) (laughs) She said, please, guys, don't feel sorry for me. Just help me out occasionally and let's rock these competitions. Well, Well. only if it doesn't involve anything being mobile. (laughs) Um, Um, What was I going to say? She sell me one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. I didn't realise you could actually have an operation to treat arthritis, though. You can't, can you? Isn't well, I don't know. She said she was going to have it because of the arthritis. Oh, no, you can't. Once you've got arthritis, you've got arthritis. That's it. Maybe if it's a... That does happen. Like, people will break their legs and then they get all, like, cold in their bones and shit like that, don't they? It's never quite the same again. <laughs> it's true. You hear people talk about it. So maybe that was the real sound I've written. Mm. Can't have been, can it? What? <laughs> I oh, know it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Um, what next? I can't, can't work out what's going on. Alex put Dom and Jessica up. Dom and <laughs> Jessica up. What? Yeah, she did. Jessica said, we just haven't made a real... Con- oh, no, she said about Jessica, we just haven't made a real connection. Mm-hmm. For Dominique, she said, after our one-to-one, you gave me a couple of things that sent up some red flags. Mm-hmm. What was that, that one-to-one? Oh, when they go and chat, when they go and like crawl up their ass, yeah. probably. I don't know what she said. <laughs> uh-huh. And I wanted to make it very clear that I didn't like some of those things she mm. said. Mm-hmm. Um, also, this is the day that I noticed, and I sent this to you. Mm. 
during the end credits of Big Brother, <laughs> yeah. which has got a different logo on it to the start of Big Brother. Yeah. Their branding is fucked. <laughs> um, there's that disclaimer that says, this programme is not associated or affiliated with the estate of George Orwell and is not based on the novel 1984. Well, it clearly is based on the novel 1984 mm. yeah. because, okay, it's not a dramatisation of no. it, but the the... Concept, concept of Big Brother is, yeah. comes directly from George Orwell's yeah. 1984. So who are they trying to kid? Gaz, I already told you this. That disclaimer used to be on at the start of each show. Like Marcus now. Yeah. Be prepared yes. for... In, during BB15, after Aaron was racist to everyone in the house, and that and George Orwell's family got in touch with CBS... And, that just, and wanted to pull it off the air, yeah, Big um, Brother. Basically complained and said they were going to sue them or whatever. But George Orwell's estate must make some money out of Big Brother from Endemol. Surely, because you can't take a concept from that book unless it's so old now know. that it's in the public yeah, domain or something. Yeah, because the, the Big Brother is not, like, trademarked, is it? Because you've got a Big George, Brother. And... Georgie missed a trick there, didn't he? Yeah, so I don't know. Because they... you've got Big, big Brother. <laughs> well, it's true, you can't yeah, but trademark for an that. omnipresent force that watches everything you do, mm. like... It's like a just a. It's kind of almost like a colloquialism, but yeah, for the whole of that series, like Catch Twenty Two, for example. Yeah, exactly. But for the whole of that series, that was at the start of every episode. Now it's just at the end. So think on. <laughs> <laughs> think on racist housemates. Um, I also this is just an aside. I watched mm. like some YouTube video of Julie yeah. doing some interview on like ET <laughs> America or <laughs> oh, something, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. and then. She was asked what was her least favourite twist ever. Oh, yeah. And she said it was the takeover. And I want you Get to tell... Get ready for a takeover. I want you to tell me what that is. <laughs> what is that? What was, was the takeover? Shit. It was like every week, like, there was a takeover. And like, By what, who? Like a celebrity? Like, yeah, but it was meant to be a celebrity, but it turned out to be, like, the shittest people ever. There was like So it some... was like our hijack? Yeah, but there was, like, some basketball guy come in and... Dennis like, Rodman? ...hosted a task. <laughs> no, and then someone got to go on a cruise with him. And I don't know, it was just so annoying. And there used to be a thing that went, <laughs> get ready for a takeover. And they go, woo! It was just so, like, I can't even, re- I can't even remember, but it was lame. Julie thought and it was then, crap. Yeah, apparently. and Julie said it was going to happen every week, and then one week they just quietly dropped it. And there was no more. Time. <laughs> <laughs> it was just gone. <laughs> do you know, but do you know what she would have said her her favorite twist ever was? No, it was the X Factor twist, which was that oh, series that I watched years yeah, ago. Yeah, with the yeah with their exes. Yeah, in there. that was a good series. But actually. she said that if she would rather that they bring that back and that all of the house guests have, all the house guests have an ex, were not just like two or three of them. Oh, okay. happened before three or four. Or something. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I thought that Julie that. had opinions about these things. I didn't. Interesting. I was quite surprised. That was very interesting. Surprised she can remember what happened from one year to the next. <laughs> <laughs> right, now we're on to the veto episode. Yeah, that's veto, not veto. <laughs> so the next day started with um, Alex's reasons in the diary room for nominating. She said, I nominated Dominique. <laughs> I don't want to do an accent, <laughs> but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Just do that one. I nominated Dominique <laughs> to take away a number from the other side. <laughs> And I nominated Jessica because the whole house wanted retribution for what Cody had done. And plus, I don't really like Jessica, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul said in the diary room, Hello, house guests. This is your puppet master speaking. Get over yourself, Paul, you fucking idiot. I can't wait. He is the puppet master, though. That's the is, irony. But I can't wait for his downfall. Ooh, who I should we wait. let play in the battle back? Yeah. Oh, God, I know. It's, ugh. <laughs> I can't wait for Cody to take Fallout. Jessica said she'd been preparing for this. Mm. Do- Dominique said she heard the Holy Spirit say she was going up. Did she? The Holy Spirit? <laughs> he gets He's everywhere, always getting doesn't involved. He? Everywhere. He's like guiding Hannah and Deborah in our series and back mm. over there for Dominique. But this is where Dominique started to get wires to Paul. She said they started acting strange around her three yeah, days prior. Yeah. And she was... Because Dominique's got quite a good relationship with Mark, hasn't she? Even though Mark... Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. And Mark was in, in pieces because yeah. of it. And Dominique was saying to um, Mark, I think Paul is involved. And then Mark was crying in the diary room to see the state so of him. So hard, yeah. He's Mark's, crying his eyes out. He's such a weirdo. Why do You like him, don't you? So oh, you just fancy him, don't you? I do fancy him. He is such a weird... Don't you think he's strange? In character? Yeah. I don't think I've seen enough of him to find him strange. He keeps, like, freaking out about things, and then he's always got his mouth open, 
and he's always Does crying he? about things and then he he's trips. always got his mouth open he's always got his mouth open like a dumbbell right? yeah exactly like he's catching flies <laughs> and he threw that hot sauce at Joe like just his behaviour is very erratic he should have got a warning for that yeah. well we'll come to that um and Dominic's praying that she was doing in the restroom sounded like wait she are we was, there already sounded like she was like getting that was the alien language yeah what was that it's like speaking <laughs> 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 <don't know>. Like speaking <laughs> in offensive. tongues, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's fine, that's fine. Go on, what have you got? I don't know. My notes are a bit scarce because I was drunk watching these episodes. I did, I've got that Holy Spirit bit there mm. and I said that was outside contact. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Dominique is in the HRH toilet speaking an alien language mm. I've written, so yeah. And I, sh- thought, <laughs> <laughs> I said I thought it was that alien from Big Brother Israel. <laughs> 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 My jokes, I've forgotten the them. The alien has a <laughs> jokes have you forgotten that joke that i wrote there <laughs> and dominic said she heard oh yeah she said she asked god who's the person behind yeah. it she said all of a sudden i mm. hear paul three times mm. i exit the bathroom and guess who's sitting there i like the fact paul. you're just giving all these people english accents it's i can't good. do american accents <laughs> i'm sorry to disappoint you guys <laughs> um yeah so then dominique all of a sudden <laughs> i hear paul three times <laughs> I exit the bathroom. And guess who's sitting there? Paul. Actually, that, was, that? that wasn't bad. And then Paul when said... When I get into the zone, I can do yeah, it. Yeah, that wasn't bad. So then Paul said to her, look, I want to talk to you before anyone else tries to bum, bum rush you. Bum rush you. <laughs> now, discuss. Bum <laughs> nah, rush. That is that a phrase you know? Nah, it is, yeah. It's not our phrase, no, is it? No, but I've heard it before. So, so what does it mean? Like, like bum rush you. Like, jump on just, her. Like, yeah, yeah. What Pounce would we say you. for that? Like, Pounce on you. <laughs> I've, got, I've got it. I don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, bum rush. This action and it doesn't work on the podcast. No. <laughs> yeah, like pounce. And then Dominique said, I'm hoping you're not the person. Smother you, basically, right? Like smother you. It's not quite that. It's like kind of like twist your arm sort of thing or like just like. She ain't going to be twisted. She's got the Holy Spirit on side. So Dominique said, I'm hoping you're not the person trying to get me out. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you know the biggest irony about this mm. conversation? Did mm. you notice? The friendship bracelet. Yeah, they're both wearing this friendship bracelet. <laughs> friendship and then paul said oh i have not betrayed you um yeah she's a um, one person she's suspicious of one person really uh, mm. really wanting me out on on my side yeah he no, said that snake noise he <laughs> said <laughs> i'm hoping the person you're referring to is like, i i'm hoping i'm not the person you're referring you're referring to and she went i'm hoping that too yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you definitely are <laughs> and then paul said i might have to abandon ship what did that mean it's like well, saying, that spaceship from the, yeah. from the top. <laughs> He's basically saying, like, I'm going to have to throw you under the bus. And then Dominique said, God's with me. She said, would you ever in your life betray me? Mm. Have you ever been dishonest about anything? Mm-hmm. He said, I can only play an honest game. Mm. See, last year he did play an honest game. So I think he is kind of falling back on that. And a lot of people still think he is that same Paul from last year. Dominique knows better. But he's not. He's rotten. Because she's been yeah. in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> she has got that outside info. Um, so then, um, but Dominique, I thought she did threaten him a little bit at the end of the conversation. Did she? she? Was, yeah, she was like, the truth will come out. And I felt like she was saying, yeah, watch your back. She said, I'm certain Paul is a snake. Mm. She's right. He was. Um, Play a pick for the POV. <laughs> <laughs> I put that when you put your arm in to get those chips for the veto, it's like sticking your <laughs> arm up a cow's butt. <laughs> Have you noticed that? They put it right what, in. What, in a big glove? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex was wanting to pick Jason, mm. uh, ride or die, mm. and Paul... Rodeo or die. ...wanted to play to get Dominique out. Mm. It's weird that it is... I still don't understand why they suddenly turned on Dominique. That make no sense. They think she's got too much information nah, from the Holy some, Spirit. There's some bit of information that we're missing here. If you know what happened, what really happened that week, because we don't, either tell me or I'll find out when I catch up on my podcast. And are they just a big bunch of racists? Yeah. We're, until we hear from you, listeners, we're just going to assume everyone and everything <laughs> is racist. <laughs> Tweet me, like at VM or Gaz, BB underscore superfan. <laughs> I thought you were going to say send us an email <laughs> yeah so they did the VA picks let's not go through all that drama um, what well, Alex said Kevin's in my inner circle <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
can't remember even who got picked, but I whatever. Did, never Let's mind. Just move along. I put. Oh, it was the Temple of Temptation veto competition. Hold on, just before that, Kevin, Alex, and <laughs> Jason. Kevin. 